I think when a student is ending the interview, uh, they almost think about it like it's writing a paper, uh, where you have that final paragraph where you need to go back and hit your main points. And that's what they need to do when they're wrapping up the interview, is to go back and think about what were the three main points that I made in terms of why, this, why the employer should hire me. Reiterate those, back them up with a brief example again, remind me of them, and then they should also ask a couple questions. It's important that the candidate let the employer know they are truly interested by asking, when will I hear about the next step in the process? And then ask them, you know, if I don't hear anything by that time, can I follow up with you? And then more importantly, how are you going to follow up if you don't have their contact information? Ask for their business card. Ask about follow-up. When should I expect to hear back from you? When would be an appropriate time frame to follow up? And ensure you get a business card so that you can write your handwritten note or an email. Email thank you would be fine as well, but the handwritten notes are really nice these days because those are rare. And I would say show your enthusiasm. I'm really excited about this opportunity. Thank you for your time. And, and closing on a positive note and showing your appreciation for the employer taking the time to interview, I think goes a long way. If the recruiter hasn't explained what the next steps are, you want to know that. When you're asking questions that relate to the job, that relate to the process, to me that shows that you're interested, that you think this is important, that this is something that you do want to pursue. So ask me, what are the next steps? Uh, when will I hear from you? Those kind of questions. Typically, if I have a student that's, that's doing the right things in the, in the closing part of the interview, they're asking questions, asking for a business card, thanking me for my time, versus the student who's, say, hey, have any questions? Nope, and they're off they go. For me, it really shows a lack of interest on that person who's not asking the questions and, and thanking someone for the time, and I don't get as excited about them. They get had a really good behavioral-based interview, showing that they have the competencies, but part of what we're looking for is the passion for the job. There's three key areas that we've discussed through this interview process. The first being drive, second enthusiasm, and the third is building relationships. Through my previous sales position, I've used the drive and enthusiasm by performing cold calls, which is a very tedious task. And in performing cold calls, you usually have a 30-second window to capture the person's attention. These individuals have been business, business owners and upper-level executives of various companies and just capturing their attention and building that relationship and continuing the follow-up process has been one of my passions and I've been very enthusiastic about this opportunity. And I would love to apply myself to your company and perform these same exact drive enthusiasm and relationship building processes. I am excited about the opportunity and I was wondering, when should I follow up with you? Well, we try to make our decisions pretty quickly so you should know something by the end of the week. Perfect, that sounds great. And if I've not heard back from you, may I follow up with you? That would be great. Perfect. May I have your business card just to have your contact information and follow up with you? I'd be happy to share that with you. Excellent. It was a pleasure meeting. You too, Mark. Thank you. Well. The interview candidate did several things well when bringing the interview to a close while keeping the door open for future communication with the employer. First, the interview candidate briefly lists the qualities he possesses, which were a strong match for the job, and uses a quick example to demonstrate his fit with the position. Second, he clearly expresses his interest in the company and his passion for the work. Third, the candidate asks for permission to follow up with the recruiter if he does not hear back about the result of his interview by a specific time. Finally, he asks the interviewer for their business card so he can follow up. The only way to improve this part of the interview would be to further practice the closing in order to be more confident in the delivery of his reasons for being a good fit with the job.